The president gave a new interview to the New York Times, and in it he is slamming Congress's border wall talks as a waste of time, even though those talks are just getting underway. Terry Moran joins us from the White House, and Terry, he's also giving a pretty head-spinning contradiction about his national security leaders saying they were misquoted, even though the world saw this public testimony play out on live TV. That's right, Cecilia. Good morning. He is on a tear in this interview. There's no question about it. He's going after the media, of course, naturally. He's also threatening congressional uh, negotiators with declaring a national emergency if they can't reach a deal on that wall. And just in general, as you pointed out, he's uh, determined to present his own version of reality. Overnight, in a wide-ranging interview with the New York Times, President Trump trashed the crucial ongoing negotiations in Congress over border security that began after his back down on the shutdown. I think it's a waste of time. And he hinted strongly that he's going to take action himself to get that border wall. I've set the table, I've set the stage for doing what I'm going to do. Trump says he'll wait until February the 15th to make his move. He told the New York Times, now whether or not I declare a national emergency, that you'll see. Meanwhile, the president is now trying to mend fences with his own intelligence chiefs at the CIA and other agencies after they sharply contradicted him in public testimony on threats around the world, including ISIS. We have won against ISIS. ISIS is intent on resurging and still commands thousands of fighters in Iraq and Syria. And even though the president touted the second summit with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un Thursday... It'll be the end of February, and... Uh, We've made tremendous progress with North Korea. Now, there's no missile testing, there's no rocket testing, there's no nuclear testing. Just days before, his own CIA director testified that's simply not the case. The regime is committed to developing a long-range nuclear armed missile that would pose a direct threat uh, to the United States. In the aftermath of that testimony, the president lashed out on Twitter, saying perhaps intelligence should go back to school. But now President Trump claims he heard a different story directly from those same intelligence agency leaders. Trump telling the New York Times, they said, sir, our testimony was totally mischaracterized. I said, what are you talking about? They said it was fake news, so, which well, frankly didn't just surprise read exactly me. Excuse what me. They said to Congress. Excuse me. It didn't surprise me at all. Well, it's Trump versus the tape on that one. Now, today, the president uh, heads to Florida. He'll be leaving the White House for the first time since Thanksgiving. He's going down to Mar-a-Lago, his resort there, for his annual Super Bowl party. The first lady will accompany him, so he's actually in a great mood. George? Okay, Terry, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.